Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21st of the April Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on this court. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, design hash set. Huh, okay, so not a tree problem, I think, maybe, we'll see. Uh, quick update, I hurt my neck a little bit. Uh, it's been on and off. I just have bad posture in it. So I hope that, you know, if you're younger and you're watching this, make sure you have good posture. And I just, you know, I, I slept weirdly uh in a weird position and that led to this um but that's just because of years of bad posture i think when i'm doing what i'm doing now programming so yeah so check that out at home but also if i look a little awkward like you know that's probably why i can't turn without turning my body it's just a little bit awkward anyway uh <laughs> focusing on overall um, and also those of you who've been watching this for a long time this yes this happened last year as well at some point so i have to get more uh more physical therapy or something but yeah okay so yeah let's get started um okay so what we're going to do and add contain remove okay of course you wouldn't normally do this because it is a built-in hash table library these days so definitely don't roll your own unless you really need to um but yeah, there are a lot of ways to do it. Uh, what is it? Key is an int. Okay, I was just double checking the data type. Um, there are a lot of ways you can play around with this one, of course. Um, the key thing is just, you know, if you're getting this on an interview, then it's about talk, um, communication and talking through a lot of different edge cases and possibilities and trade-offs and stuff like that, right? These are the things that I would think about with respect to pretty much just like go through with the textbook of uh, you know, what is hashing? What uh, What's a collusion? What's double hashing? What's, uh, I forgot the name, so maybe I'm blanking it out. Remember that I don't prepare for these things. Everything you see is live, so so sometimes I do forget some stuff because, uh, yeah. But the one where you use two hash functions, I think, because double hashing is just a yeah, different kind of, uh, or maybe I'm confusing it, but there's also chain hashing, stuff like that. There's a lot of different things. Or, uh, so yeah, so definitely think about how to kind of do that and then talk it through and then talk through how to, or which way to, um, yeah, which way to kind of, uh, talk through which way to, to implement. Because uh, I think obviously each of those have different implementation. Um, I'm going to do something really maybe lazy. Uh, 10 to the 6. <laughs> The, the funny thing is that you can just, you know, have, have uh, given that 10 to the 6, you can just have. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit funky. Uh, and that's something that, you know, you should always look at your, your inputs. That said, huh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe this will time out, to be honest, because I'm just doing this for, for hilarious reasons. Uh, but yeah, table is equal to do, 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 times max. And where max is equal to 10, oops, x plus 1, right? Plus 2, maybe. And then here, like we said, this is going to be very silly. Uh, we'll see if this is fast enough, because it may be that this is too slow. Uh, mostly, if it, if it times out, Ah, uh, yeah, my my Alexa timer is kicking off again. Uh, sorry, friends. Anyway, uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is that this may time out. Um, you know, this this is all one, and this is all one, and this is all one. Uh, so you're like, wait, 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 may it time out? Well, it may time out in the initialization, depending on how many problems there are, or how many inputs there are, um, how many unique inputs are there. Because for every unique input, we do allocate 10 to the 6, which, you know, let's say we have like a million test cases, this would be too slow, for example. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be fast enough for this one, though, unless I misread the problem. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's give it some med. We'll see if this is fast enough. This, yeah. Okay. So this is a little bit slow, obviously, 289, but. Yeah, so there are definitely, like I said, there are a lot of ways to do it, but this is just a textbook problem. Um, I think for those of you 
at home trying to figure out how to practice. Um, for this one, just pick one of those fu funky non-standard algorithms for hashing and then play around with it. And then the other thing is that I would also challenge you to do is come up with test cases that breaks your code. Um, nothing is going to be 100%. Well, I guess actually the thing that I'm doing is 100% because there's, it, there's no there's no collusion, right? So but what I would challenge you is if you have some like, you know, hashing function, try to break it in a way such that, um, you know, you have collusions and then see how you handle them and then play around with those ideas. Uh, from playing with that, you'll get better over time. Uh, but yeah, and of course the trade-off is that my memory is also very... Um, yeah, it's memory intensive because I use a lot of memory every time. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. I mean, this is a textbook problem, so I'm kind of lazy today. Uh, but yeah, also this is this is more of a, an interactive problem, right? I mean, in the sense that if you're getting this on an interview, you should interact with your um, interviewer and talk about how to go about it because this has a million different possible answers and you know you can choose any of them right so anyway but yeah uh i'm still in a bit of pain so i am gonna call it a night stay good stay healthy to good mental health hope you all have better physical health than i do for now uh but yeah uh take care